يا الله سلم سلم يا الله الله اكبر الله اكبر مدينة تلميسي استداد مدينة بالطيال الحربي حسبي الله ونعم الوكيل السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته Terror, in a broad sense, is violence against non-military targets for political purposes. To put it another way, the targets of terror are entirely innocent citizens whose only crime is, in the eyes of terrorists, to represent the other side. For this reason, terror means subjecting an innocent person to violence, which is an act of deprivation of any moral justification. This, as in the case of the assassinations by Hitler or Stalin, is a crime against humanity. Al-Quran also commands Muslims to do good and be fair to fellow humans, except for those who fight against Muslims. This is expressed in the following verse. Allah does not forbid you to do good and be fair to those who did not fight against you because of religion and did not, nor, expel you from your country. Indeed, Allah loves those who act justly, Quran Surah Al-Mumtahana verse 8. And Islam also never commands people to do heinous acts, in fact Islam actually prohibits humans from committing cruelty. Many people claim that they defend Islam, enforce Islamic law and so on. But none of this is true, they are just making it up, as a mask of their ugliness, as a justification for their evil deeds. The Quran has reminded people of this, as it is written in the following verse, and when they commit a heinous act, they say, we found our ancestors did this, and Allah told us to do it. Say, verily, Allah does not command, do evil deeds. Why are you making things up against Allah that you don't know? Kor, and Surah Al-Araf verse 28, in this verse Allah subhanahu wa hu wa ta'ala reminds us of the hypocrites who take the name of Islam as the mask of their lies. They trusted their leaders, their false hadiths, and fake translations of the Quran rather than the true soul and spirit of Islam as written in the original Quran, the correct translation of the Quran. According to November 2014 data, the British director for handling terrorism and homeland security in Durham, David Shanzer, said that you should never connect a particular religion with acts of terrorism which have been increasing lately. David Shanzer admits that Islam is not a terrorist, but a religion that loves peace and respects each other. As he had learned, in Islam, killing innocent people is strictly prohibited by Islamic teachings. Killing one innocent person is like killing people all over the world. Those who are religious are better and smarter to resist radicalism which is now becoming more widespread, said Shanzer. Acts of terrorism that have been increasingly prevalent since a long time ago are efforts by certain groups to play various parties against each other. They recruit people with low education and lack of religious belief. Then they are given a narrow view by the group to do what they want by promising that these people are said to be on a religious mission known as Jihad. Dot. In my view, Islam is not a terrorist. Terrorists have no religion. There is a postulate that states that terrorists arise because of a minority who are oppressed by the majority. There are also those who say terrorism is done to gain power. If terrorism is linked to religion, then it is not true because any religion does not teach violence, those with a religion are stronger to reject violent acts of radicalism, that people who have beliefs and religions prefer to live side by side in peace. Thus the words, Islam, and, terror, cannot coexist and that no religion allows violence. That there is no room for terrorism in Islam. This is clearly stated in the Quran, the main source of Islam, and in the practice of ordering all Muslims to the truth, the Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him put forward among them. Next let us state clearly the verses of the Quran and with examples from history, that Islam prohibits terrorism and aims to bring peace and security to the whole world. Indeed, Allah commands you to be fair and do good, to give to relatives, and Allah forbids from abominable acts, evil and enmity. He teaches you so that you can take lessons. Quran Surah and Nal verse 90. Hopefully this knowledge is useful for all of us. Please share the like subscribe and comment on the content of Akbar Hisaku if you find it useful. Wassalamu alaikum waro matawawi wabarakatuh.